Welcome everyone. Today I want to show you a very cool and very unique printer. This is Alphawise UU30 printer. Printing area 220, 220, 250. Like more or less standard printer like Enderfree, GTEC R10 and so on. Now guys, this is not a clone. It's no clones in China because Gitech or uh, Tronxy or uh, Creality, they don't own any fabric, they don't make self motors, frames and so on, or these plastic wheels, or screens, they just order it parts and uh, own some places, they just assemble printers. So. It's no clones in China. It's no clones, no reality, no GTEC and so on. Some, some, uh, like for example, Trongsi try to save money. They, they have really, really low quality parts in, in printers. Why this printer is unique? Because it's a plenty, plenty of settings. Check this out. If you go to more settings, see you can change acceleration, jerk settings, even steps with no need to change nothing in you Marlin. You just change all here. That means you can make this printer super super great or super super bad. It's up to you what kind of changes changes you do for this printer. Actually some few stuff that I don't like about this printer. I don't like spool holder that is here because I think if you mount some uh, filament spool that it weighs two kilograms can be shaking problems and they not provide some uh, clip or maybe so you can attach this uh, bad cable so you must make some something by yourself that's all actually 24 volts touch screen this printer have all sensors you need filament sensor it's some kind of optic sensor This printer has a powerful URA sensor. That's also really, really great. And most important, that its printer more or less costs about 150 euros. That's amazing. No acrylic parts, nothing. Check this out. If we <coughs> go to uh, for example, more, go to leveling, see how easy. And lift or make it down your bed by, uh, by using the screw. So it's very, very easy. Go to next point, do the same thing. If you don't like this, you just push one, push one button, unlock all motors, and you can do this manually. Uh, heated bed works uh, fantastic, it uh, heats very, very fast. I added uh, some cork material, so it works, <laughs> like you see, works really, really fast with a simple trick. Even without cork material, it works super fast. Not like Tivo Tornado, but it's fast. If you go to print, you can change all all settings like you see fan speed bad temperature 
nozzle temperature and all printing speed. Actually, actually, I almost forget. I made one big change. I added uh, some pen springs to my uh, filament duct. Simple pen springs. Now I can adduce my cooler much easier because this printer came with uh, these uh, spacers and they actually use it. Extruder, very simple extruder. It's some kind of plastic material that it works really, really great. You can print uh, TPU, flexible fil filament with this. Of course, PETG or wood material, it's a more or less standard extruder. It's actually only one plastic part. Of course, wheels, it's made in plastic. All frame, it's a metal. So not bad, not bad. One zeta axis, but I think it's okay. Much easier to control, control the printer because it's not a very big printer. So you're not going to feel nothing in your print quality if it's one or two axis. If you some kind of 3D printer beginner, I very, very recommend if you use one Z-axis because sometimes it's a plenty problems with this axis so you may be difficult to, uh, to use or uh, adduce them, especially if you trade a printing beginner. It takes about one, one or one and a half minutes to rise uh, heat at bed temperature to 50, it's not bad. I go on to print bench now. And one more thing. Many people start to complain about filament cooling duct. This printer don't have good Duct. Yes, guys, it's a standard stuff, but many people do some big mistake. If you go to the settings, like you see in your slicer, extra fan speed, you're going to set 100. But this printer uses not 100, this printer uses. Check this out. Two hundred fifty-five. So when you slice her, add two hundred fifty-five if you want to have full speed on your filament cooling duct. So remember that two hundred fifty-five, not one hundred, in slicer settings. I really, really start to like this printer. Simple, cheap, very friendly to use, plenty of nice settings. One more thing, actually, that I really, really like and it's unique. Check this. If I want to stop, print. Nozzle rise up and printer yet moves in home position. Not all printers do this, so it's a great, great feature, and it's also some kind of unique alpha wise. I hope you like this uh, little fast review. Enjoy, subscribe, and see you in my next video. Bye.